Hey gamers! What would happen if you played 100 hours of your favorite video games non-stop? And we mean non-stop, as in no food, no bathroom breaks, no sleep, just 100 straight hours of gaming. What will be the consequences to the human body? Is it even physically possible? Well, sharpen your mining picks, Brainiacs, because it's time to dig up some lapis lazuli, max out your APM, and pwn some noobs, as we find out just what happens to the human body after 100 hours of video games. That last one there made me sound pretty old. The gaming industry is huge, and we mean huge. Studies show that 67% of Americans are gamers, which roughly equates to 211 million people. With smartphones getting more and more powerful, it's now easier than ever for anyone to pick up gaming and get lost in other worlds filled with adventure, romance, and giant guns. People can't seem to get enough of virtually shooting each other. In 2019, Fortnite has clocked in at 250 million registered players worldwide, with the game peaking at 10.5 million players actively playing at one time. That's as many people as the entire country of Greece. Now before you start thinking, who are all these nerds wasting their lives away living in their parents' basement? You may want to reconsider your career goals and become a professional gamer. Streaming video games over the internet and winning extremely lucrative prize pools for tournaments make it very possible to make a living from playing games. Take 16-year-old Kyle Giersdorf, who won the Fortnite single-player event in Arthur Ashe Stadium in New York and won $3 million. Of course, there's Tyler Ninja Blevins, who started as a pro Halo player, then moved on to Player Unknown's Battlegrounds and now is arguably the most famous Fortnite player. He's followed by over 14 million viewers on YouTube and has an estimated net worth of $15 million. Maybe your mom should be encouraging you to play more games, huh? But gaming inevitably has downsides, and extended hours of play don't come without consequences. After all, you'll find yourself sitting. A lot. On average, gamers play about 6 hours of video games a week, and will watch for about an hour and 48 minutes of streamers playing video games. Add that to the sitting you do in your car, at work, at school, and watching TV. That's a lot of sitting. Man, it's not good for you. If you decided to binge 100 hours of games, which is just over 4 days straight, you'd be in a lot of trouble. After just a few hours of gaming, physical side effects are already starting to manifest. The muscles in your back and your neck, known as your postural muscles, begin to lose the ability to keep you upright and relaxed. You'll start to slouch, and your shoulders will come forward. This can lead to bad posture when you're not sitting, and can cause back pain as well. Also, you're just gonna look like this, like, like how this guy's standing here. After your first day of gaming, you could bet you'd feel it in your body. Your lower body wouldn't have as good of blood flow as it normally does standing up, walking around, and moving. But hey, we've all binged Netflix for a day and lived to tell the tale. One full day of gaming is nothing we can't recover from. But what about day two? How are things looking after 48 hours of games? All that slouching would start to really affect your body, especially your spine. There'd be significant wear and tear on your discs and joints in your back. You would also find it harder to lift your arms up, and it's quite possible you wouldn't be able to lift your arms above your head because your muscles have become so accustomed to your bad posture. Creeping up on 100 hours of gaming, which would be over four days straight, now things are looking serious. So, how about your body? Well, being so sedentary has now caught up with you, and it can cause blood clots in your legs. If these clots made their way to your heart, that's not good. Minor muscle atrophy would start to occur as well due to a lack of exercise. This would manifest as a loss in your aerobic fitness. After this point, things can become deadly. And unfortunately, there are many cases of gamers binging for too long. A man in Taiwan gamed for three days straight at an internet cafe and was found dead due to cardiac arrest. Police say it was cold temperatures and overexhaustion from the long hours spent gaming that led to his death. Another tragic instance of a gamer dying due to playing too much was a 17-year-old boy who broke his leg and spent 22 days straight playing six and a half hours a day of Defense of the Ancients or Dota due to his immobility. Doctors concluded that he died due to second class syndrome or thrombosis, which affects people who sit for too long on flights. It's a scary real thing, Brainiacs. Sitting for too long locked to your screen can really hurt your body. So to all you potential professional gamers out there, be responsible. No one is saying don't play video games for a living, but doctors recommend setting a timer for 30 to 60 minutes to get up and stretch your legs. Keep a limit on your playtime to an eight hour day and schedule exercise, time with friends, and meals. It's completely possible to play games for a living, just be good to yourself. Well, there you have it, Brainiacs. What would happen if you played 100 hours of video games? Truthfully, we're all guilty of binging media, whether it's a Lord of the Rings marathon or a whole season of Stranger Things. The trick is make sure you're responsible with your time, be good to your body, and don't neglect your other responsibilities like work. But hey, if you find you love gaming enough to play 100 hours straight, we say start streaming. You could be the next big thing, and then, well, you play all the games you want. No one can tell you what to do.